Hi again. I wanted to show you guys um, how to split a file or um, cut it, uh, move things around, uh, just some basic editing. So um, this is a design um, that I bought on the internet and uh, right now when I click on it, it's a, it fits my entire hoop. It's a 5 by 7 um, and it's all one design and you can see there are several color stops all the way to 11. It's an applique, so the letters are applique, the number um, and here at the bottom. But let's just say that I want to rearrange things around and um, maybe even add a name to, to this file. Um, so, so what I would do is um, first click on the little scissors icon um, here at the top of the screen and uh, that will give you the option to cut pattern. Um, my select points is checked um, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, the first, um, the location of the first and the my just uh, it's not going to make any sense, but you know, just for demonstration purposes. So um, I am going to start clicking around um, the my, and I will um, make sure that I'm not clicking, you know, across any other threads that I don't want cut. And I will just keep going around. Um, I don't have to close the polygon. So once you get it to the point where you say, okay, if these two were to connect, um, my cut will be complete, you, you, you can stop right there. So you click on cut pattern, um, it'll give you several options. Um, and I want to cut and save all. Um, so now my, sorry, and then I close this. Um, and this, uh, the my is going to be a separate design all on its own. So for the time being, I'm going to park this on the side. And because this is an applique, you can see that um, it actually created, it, it cut all of the threads. So this is my placement stitch, um, this is a tack down, and then the satin stitch around it. Um, so I have the complete my over here. I'm going to do the same thing with the first and just kind of move things around a little bit. Um, so click on the scissors icon. Um, select points is checked. I'm just going to go around um, here. I can zoom in to make sure that um, I am cutting exactly where I wanted to cut. So I'm coming right in between. And I'm just going to keep going around. Um, and again, I don't have to close the polygon. Um, the tops would connect and would make a perfect cut. I can say cut pattern, um, cut and save all. Now things moving around quite a bit on me. On me. Let me uh, zoom out. And I'm going to make a close the cut window. I'm going to move things back um, a little bit. And then I'll, I'll move um, Move this out of the way. Oh, it combined the two. I mean, I could do this again um, and just go ahead and cut pattern, but for the time being, I think you kind of get the idea and then you can move um, your designs. You, oh, yeah, it is separate. Um, I will move this out and just say, you know, my visit, um, move this back here. Put that first. Yeah, this will be tricky because it's selection the whole thing. But anyway, this is how you would cut a design. You can move things around. And then if you want to delete one of these uh, color stops altogether, let's just say that I don't want the my at all. Um, I go to the right hand pane and I find which ones are comprising um, the my. I think it's five, six, and seven. So if I click on yeah, five, six, and seven, if I um, hit Control and right click, I can delete thread. So I can delete those threads, and now it just says first visit. Um, let's see if it's still a whole one. Yeah, it's. Um, no, I think it moved just to visit. Okay, that's good. Um, so I can move this. I can. Whoa, undo move the first down you know wherever you want um, and then you can put a name at the top uh, 
you know, Brooks or Ryan's or something like that if you want to change things around. But that's how you would edit things and you can um, do quite a bit of manipulation with Sew Up Pro. Uh, happy stitching!